Trap Rack is he shot so well at the beginning, got off to a good start, got it up to 26 points, now with like 11 minutes to go, it just, for a while there just kind of wasn't really Purdue basketball. Uh, is it, was it kind of a, a mixed bag tonight, guys? Um, yeah, I think it was a mixed bag. Um, I mean, mixed feelings, I mean, or whatever you want to call it. Because um, when you get on the big league, you know, sometimes people start to um, let off, but um, you just got to stay up and keep playing. Juwan, same, you know, is it kind of strange? Yeah, I mean, you know, that was one thing Coach Banner, you know, talked to us about. We got to keep that intensity, uh, even when we sub in and out. Uh, everyone's got to be ready to play and keep that level up from when the last people were. Lewis, are you a little upset with Savi for getting that last rebound? He cost you a uh, leading rebound. <laughs> Um, nah, you really, nah, if it was Juwan, honestly, I probably would have been mad, but anytime Sandy or you know, Travis, those young guys can come in and rebound for us, I'm happy because they're getting experience and they're obviously doing what coaches ask them to do and rebounding that ball. Lou, what makes you such an effective offensive rebounder? You have four of them in, uh, in traffic. Probably because I don't get the respect sometimes. I think because people don't think I can rebound, so it's like when I do it once, everybody's kind of like, yeah, six, like, yeah, okay. And then, like, just going with these guys and how much co coach emphasizes, just trying to get the ones I can get. So I think that really makes me try and get, get as many as I can. Do you see the ball, I mean, well coming off the rim? Is that, is that how you, you, you kind of have a nose or an eye for it, I guess? Yeah, back in my prime, I used to be an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> like, in high school, I used to go get them. No, but yeah, I just kind of see it and just kind of like, you know, pick your poison. And most people with this team, they're worried about Juwan and even Etuan because they're such good rebounds. They're trying to block them out. So most people don't think I'm going to go. So when I do go, I, I normally just get good timing with it. Etuan, what would you, to what would you credit the good start? You guys hit 14 of your first 17 shots. It looks like, it looked like the spacing was real good. The cutting, the passing was crisp. What, what do you attribute the good start to? Um, we just being patient, um, sharing the ball, moving the ball around. That was um, the biggest thing. We got a little stagnant. A little late in the game, but it's a good ball moving and you know, hit people open shots. Juwan, same same for you. What do you cause you guys you hit you hit them boom right away. Um, yeah, I definitely think uh, just being unselfish early on. Uh, I know a lot of those shots that we made were assisted shots, which uh, you know, definitely helps and uh, like I said we had a, like a pretty good space in and uh, the offense was just performed pretty well. Juwan, what did you learn from that uh, Valpo game that, that you kind of applied to tonight to help you play so well? Um, just slow down. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes the double teams are going to be there. Uh, so just be patient and just look for the open man and make the right play. What are your thoughts on just the sense of effort? Any of you, I guess, can answer this. Um, keeping another team below 67 points. You guys have been pretty dominating on that number four. Yeah, um, I think we did a really good job defensively tonight. Um, you know, like Etoine said earlier, we got a little stagnant uh, on both ends, really, and uh, allowed them to make a little run. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, compared to Valpo, uh, we started off really well on both ends of the court, and uh, that was definitely one of our things that we wanted to uh, accomplish. So. kind of the older guys just with, you know, Juwan and Etuan being here and even Ryan, like, we understand getting leads at home and you really don't want, want to even, like Etuan said, we got stagnant. You don't want to do that, but that's good for our young guys now to see when they come in and they got that lead that they really can't get stagnant because once we get in the Big Ten, it's a possible chance teams can give you that push and come back. And, like, now they can see, like, once they get in, they need to take the opportunity of minutes and that could also help to start, especially these two that play so many minutes, get some rest on their legs. So, I think it's a good learning experience that we had to go through there. Anything else? Okay, thank you.